Hi everyone and welcome back to new episode of BWD. Today we're gonna learn how to roll back a repository on GitHub. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's see it. Here I've just merged on GitHub the code from episode 5 of my lyrics series and then put it locally. Now I am on the master branch and as we can see, when I've merged I made an error. This is a nice commit because we have a bunch of infos, but that's not the case for the one above. And that's because when I merged the code on GitHub, I messed up and I typed the wrong message. If we go to GitHub to check the comment history, we can see the same problem. So what we're gonna do today is rolling back this repo by deleting the last commit on its master branch on GitHub. If you're new to this channel or you're back watching this video, do not forget you can find timestamps in the video description below. And now, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, the scenario we are in is pretty simple. On the master branch of the GitHub repo, the last commit contains some error, and in our case the message is wrong, and to have a cleaner history we want to delete it. In the first part of the video, we're gonna learn how to do this with another identical repo, which you won't find on the BWD GitHub page because it's a private one. But why don't we fix the public repo? Well, that's because it's a little bit trickier to fix it. So let's learn the basics with the private one and then in the second part of the video fix the public repo. As you can read here, the name of the private repo is identical, except for the prefix test. This repo has no error yet. If we check the master branch, we find 10 commits and the last one is good. So first of all, what we gotta do is to replicate the same comment history there is on the public repo. Here it is the local copy of the repo on my laptop. And if I type git status, we can see all the files ready to be committed. So let's commit them and type a message. I'm gonna go with code. Let's check the last commit and here we go. Great, now let's push on the test repo on GitHub. What you would normally do is to type in git push origin, but since we are not using the public repo, we must replace origin with test. Let's add a meaningful title. And then click on the create pull request green button down here. Perfect, we have just opened a new pull request. And what we gotta do now is merge it. Let's go down here on the green button and let me change this to squash and merge. Then let's click it. Great, and now we have just to confirm. And here is where I messed up in the public repo. I've deleted the title and the message just like this and then confirm it. The pull request was successful and in fact if we go to the master branch and we check the commit history we can see the last commit with the same error there is on the public repo. Great, and now we are ready to see how to roll back. First of all let's go back to our laptop and let's move to the master branch and then pull the changes from the test repo. If we check the last two commits we see the exact same history as on GitHub. First step to rollback is to delay the last commit on our laptop. We can easily do this by typing git reset dash dash hard head tilde one. As you can see, git displays a message to let us know which is the last commit on the master branch now. And if we check, we can indeed see this. And if we go back to GitHub, we can see that nothing has changed yet. So the second step is to push these changes. We can do it by typing git push test with the force option. Great, we can read this log message which is saying that the repo found on GitHub has been updated. And in the line below we can check the last commit found on the master branch on GitHub. As we can see, its hash is identical to the one found in the log message we got when we set the local repo. And indeed, if we go to GitHub and refresh the commit history page, we see the commit from our pull request is gone. So now in total there are 10 commits and not 11. Great, and now we're gonna try to roll back also the public repo. And as you will see, it won't be that easy. First of all, let's double check the master branch on our laptop. It's clean, great. And now let's try to push this also on the public repo. Let's type git push origin dash dash force. 
But as you can see, this time it didn't work. This log message here is telling that we cannot force push on the master branch of this repo. And down here, we can understand why. The branch has been rejected. The master branch on GitHub is protected, which means GitHub is stopping the push command. And keep in mind that this scenario will often happen to you if you try to do this on a repo of any famous project available on GitHub. And indeed, if we go back to GitHub and we check the commit history, we can still see 11 commits in total. So, how can we make this work? Well, don't despair, because it isn't that hard. First of all, let's go to the settings tab up here, and then the branch tab. As you can see, there is a branch protection rule in place, which applies to the master branch. If we try to add it, we can read the protection rules more in details, and we can remove them, like this. And if you do it, do not forget to save the changes. Another option is to completely delete the branch from this section, just like this. However, once we have done with the rollback, do not forget to go back here and set the protection rule back again. Back to our laptop, we are finally ready to roll back. Just like before, we're gonna force the changes by adding the force option. And here we go, this time it worked. If we go back to GitHub, we can see 10 commits in total now, and the last commit has been deleted. Ok, before considering it's done, let's not forget to set up back the protection rule on the master branch. And here we go. Great! This is it for this video. If you have any question or doubt, don't be shy and write it down in the comment section below. And with that said, do not forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Ciao!